Hello everyone and welcome to this part of, um, we are going to do step by step on making this um, witch cauldron cup. Um, I did a video on how to do the drip, but I have a few customers that are wanting to get into tumblers, so I figured I would make this in segments. That way if you already know how to do something, then you can go and watch another part of the um, video. So. <clears throat> To show you that, now I did a video on the Tacket Method. I wanted to do something a little bit different than that one. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a very thin coat um, of Fast Set Epoxy on it. And I figured I would go ahead and make a video of that. So I'm gonna scoot this over just a little bit. <clears throat> now I'm going to take, and this is a Fast Set, it's a 30, 30 minute time. Um, I just use it um, a lot of times in easy stuff, but I do not use it in my top coat anymore. Um, I have a lot of micro bubbles with it, um, and I'd prefer not to. And one more thing I would like to state is please do not measure with weighing your um, A and B um, because your A is going to be. Um, slightly um, thicker than your B so whenever you do that you're not getting the correct consistency of it very thin coat because I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to apply flat back pearls all right so now that I have <clears throat> my consistency or I have both of them up to that little rim right there because this is going to be just very very little um, I'm actually going to be using too much, but it's okay. And this one, I want to stir for about three minutes. And what you will see is you will see a milky consistency. And then once you stir and you get that chemical reaction, it will become clear. Um, <clears throat> Now, with this one right here, unfortunately, it's not going to get clear. Um, this is a fast set, so you're going to have a lot of micro bubbles in it. Um, and they pop on their own. Um, if they don't, I give it a little bit of a heat. So, I'm going to show you. I'm just going to stir. And I'll pause this video so that way you don't have to see for the whole three minutes. So actually it starts to get more milky, which is perfectly fine. This is a fast set. Um, I use a fast set a lot because um, I don't want to wait 12 hours in between projects. Okay, so now my timer has gone off. I just want to make sure that you are in frame so you can see this. Now I'm going to turn it on and what I like to do is I like to make it go this way because I like to hold my finger and go. So let me show you one more time. It's still milky and And this is just a th very thin coat that I'm doing. And this is just to hold this. And what I'm doing is I'm pulling down. Okay, and I have just a little bit left on here. Okay, that it's dropping on there because I like to grab it and whoop. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so now my last part is I'm going to focus on the rim because I want to make sure that it gets a good seal on that. Because if you get a good seal on your cup, everything else is going to go proper. Now that little spot right there, I'm not worried about because it is going to be covered up with some flat back pearls. A lot of times I will leave this to turn if, if it was a lot of um, epoxy. It's not a lot of epoxy, so I'm just going to hit it real quick. You're just going to okay now I'm going to leave it and how I know which way that it has turned I start right there go all the way around I'm going to leave it for a few minutes which you may be able to see I see a little bit of milkiness in it um, I will come back in about five minutes and I will hit it one more time but with this being so light of a, of a coat of epoxy, I don't want to heat it up too much. I don't want to uh, mess with the chemical balance of it. I want to just heat it up and smooth it, which you can kind of see on the sides, it's starting to relax. Um, I'm going to give it just a little bit more and then I'm going to hit it again and then I'm going to leave it and let it cure and then we will turn around and we will put our flat back pearls on in the next video. Um, please comment and let me know if you like this idea. I don't like to make too long of videos um, to waste any of your time. I just want to give you the best information that I can. So um, let me know if this is the way that you like to see these videos. Um, and like always, if you have a comment, leave it and I'd be glad to help you. And have a great day. Thanks.